So, it seems lately that buying used, cheap motors online is kind of trending on the tube. So let's give it a shot. I decided to go with the most trustworthy place on the internet to buy my motor, Facebook Marketplace. For $250, I picked up this knockoff Honda motor and took it out for a test run. This is how it went. All right, we bought the motor, we brought it home, we checked it out. Step one is complete. Now we have the hardest steps in front of us, and that is to get it to start and to rip around on the pond here and see what it's capable of. Before we get into that, I am gonna show you guys everything on the motor here so you guys kinda have an idea of what I'm doing uh, and if you guys are looking to pick one up for yourself. Okay, so right away, it says Honda on the front. Do not, and I mean do not pay attention to that because this is not a Honda motor. This is a Hong Kai, which is a uh, Chinese knockoff of the Honda motors. For some strange reason, they like to uh, rip off Honda more than all the other companies. This motor itself is about 250 to 350 on Amazon, depending on where you get it. There are some that are nicer as well than this one. Um, however, any of those Chinese knockoff brands are gonna be usually $400 and below. The real Hondas are gonna be like $800, $900. First thing I'll show you guys here, we have the prop, that's pretty standard. This little knob on the side here is kind of nice because I can undo it and you notice it pops and then that's what brings it down. And then if I wanna bring it back up again, hit the thing, whoa, boom. And now it's resting up, that way it's not dragging on the bottom if I'm in shallow water, which is nice. As for how it attaches on the boat, it's just clamped on, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy there, just like my trolling motor does. If you guys don't know about the Pond Prowler here, this is a lot of my videos recently have been with this guy. This is my Bass Pro Pond Prowler 8. I didn't bring all the extra bells and whistles. Usually this thing is tricked out. However, all I brought today is the fish finder so we can calculate the speed. I wanna see how fast this thing goes with just one person on the boat without any weight. I just, just bring a kayak paddle just in case this doesn't work and I am stranded out in the middle of the pond. So the weird thing about the choke on these is when Honkai sends it, they actually have these switched the wrong way. So the guy that I bought it from, he told me about this and he actually arranged the stickers the right way. So if you notice they're kind of ripped right here, that's because he actually took them off and replaced them. When you ordered the motor, it told you that this was on and this was off. However, that is not accurate. As for the fuel, uh, we cannot put regular gas in these motors. This is for non-ethanol only, so I have to actually buy a special gas just for this little guy right here. Luckily, it's a little more expensive than regular gas, but not too bad, and this thing really doesn't take up too much, so that's a good thing. Pretty easy for the next parts. We have our kill switch right here, and obviously that's the throttle. That's gonna determine how fast we go. Judging by how short the handle turns, it's probably going to be a very sensitive motor, and it's gonna kinda jump and go back and jump and go back. So luckily, I'm only gonna be using this for like a long trip out, and then I'm turning it off, and I'll have the trolling motor up front to do all the rest of my crap with. All right, folks, that's about it. That's kinda everything on it. Luckily, that is the nice thing about these cheap motors is they don't have a lot of parts to them, which is honestly for the better because let's face it, all the parts on them are pretty crap. The one thing the guy did that I bought from, he actually replaced the uh, pull cord and he replaced the uh, spark plug because he said they both went bad on him within the first trip. So let's hope that nothing else inside is gonna go bad on me here. I'm gonna call this an absolute win if I can just get this thing to turn on today. That would be just Alrighty, I'm so pumped. It's getting dark. I'm gonna get the cameras up and let's see if this thing turns on. I'm really curious to see how much gas this thing actually does use because if I'm doing a long trip somewhere, I may have to just carry, you know, something like this with me to refill it, but should be all right. This will be one of the coolest purchases I have ever made if, if I can get this to turn on. We're just gonna go past this little, uh, piece of algae here and then we're gonna get it turned on and going hopefully <laughs> hopefully I'm gonna have to go easy on the pull cord I'm hoping the pull cord is gonna be a really easy one to do here so my brother told me to treat this like a dirt bike engine now I don't know about dirt bikes the only thing I know is that when you get it started you have to turn the throttle to get it to start going so that's what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna turn that handle as I'm pulling and see if this thing will get going. The choke as well here, I'm gonna put this in the halfway mark. And then once I get it going, I'm probably gonna click it to off. But I'm, I've been told that right in the halfway mark is how I'm gonna get this thing to really start going. 
Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this thing gets breaks up pretty nice here. Moment of truth. We're gonna pull this thing at the same time. Oh my gosh. Oh no way! No way! Oh okay. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Holy crap, I may get it on this next one. Okay, so I'm gonna put the choke off now. Now it's completely off. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, folks. I think my problem, my problem was, is I still had my hand on the, um, the choke. Oh no. There we go. Okay. My problem was, is I was still giving it gas and I shouldn't, I should let it just sit for a minute. Um, yeah. Wow. That was really touchy. It's hard to explain. I'm not good with motors, but we got it. So now if I go to off. I think we're good. No! The, the fact that it's already turning on though tells me something's going right because I am not very um, uh, motor inclined. I'm not very good with anything that has gears and moves. So the fact that I'm already getting this thing going means that it's, it's gonna work out. There we are. I'm gonna let this thing warm up for a second and then once it's ready, then we'll open it up. But first impressions, holy crap, it's loud. It's really loud. <laughs> Moving a bit. Okay, I'm gonna get the transducer in the water with my fish finder and I'm gonna get it, I know I can get it going back again. So I'm gonna get it on this little strip right here, full speed and see what I can do. My guess is we're probably not gonna go over six, but that's totally fine with me. Okay, got it going here. Now we're gonna get it, get it started. Well, it seems like we got it up to about 4.8, 4.9, which for me is gonna be awesome because now I can get this boat into places where I wouldn't have got it before. I can take this thing on the rivers, for instance, Snake River. I can take this thing to CJ Strike. I can take this thing to some of the bigger reservoirs and I can actually get to spots that don't include right around the public boat launch. I can actually go farther out now. Um, wow, this is exciting. This is going to be incredible for the future of this channel. This has been hands down the riskiest video I've done because I didn't know if this motor was gonna work or not. However, I suggest you guys go on Amazon. I got a link below. Go get yourself one of these bad boys, stick it on a little boat or some kayak or something and go out there and explore. This thing is gonna be awesome for me in the future. If you guys wanna see another one of my epic boat videos, I'll put that right up here on the top for you guys. Thank you guys for watching today's video. This was really fun to create, and I have a lot of good memories in the future coming with this little motor. So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time on Humbug Videos.